This is called. This is from Dineshi Video. It's called "Why Liquid Liquid Chris Was the King of Trolling." Hot take. All signed your material is copyright March 17, 2000, by me, Christian Weston Chandler. Any names or persons, except for my, myself, that may seem similar, similar to anyone in real I, I can't even tell which one is which, to be honest with you, at this point. I, I just, I can't do it. I just can't do it. It's impossible. There are times when I'm staring at Chris, talking, and I'm like, that's not Chris. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's just crazy to me. It, that's how, that's, I've been gaslit. <laughs> life or fiction are purely coincidental or otherwise parodic okay cool the ego is one of those aspects of the person that people often have trouble with. The word ego is normally used in reference to someone's overindulgence in themselves, also known as narcissism or egotism. The line between overindulgence in the self and egotism is very blurry. However, most people tend to land on the rational side, although this is definitely not the case when it comes to Christian Weston Chandler. Chris Chan, which is how he's known on the internet to his many fans, is a talented artist and a fringe musician, alongside a moral, religiously devout man. He's produced countless artistic masterpieces, from his first successful music album, Kristen and the Hedgehog Boys, to his long-lasting comic book series, Sonichu. But despite all of this artistic talent, he was still unable to ever get himself a boyfriend-free girl to turn into a soulmate, which True. often demotivates his vastly powerful artistic mind, leaving him to do nothing for many months. But besides that, Chris Chan is truly a role model to all the young boys and girls in the world. We should all look up to him as a beacon of artistic and musical inspiration. All right, so everything I just said there was a very warped view of reality. First, hey, 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 I agree. What is that, deodorant? Chris Chan's art is awful. It looks like it was produced by an intoxicated six-year-old. It objectively fails on so many levels. This hey, video. better than mine, am I right, guys? Better than mine. <laughs> okay, come on. There we go. It would have to be five hours long if we were to cover all of them. His storytelling in his comics as well is incredibly shoddy, and the actual language used in it is very inappropriate at times, and there's tons of spelling mistakes. Secondly, his music isn't even original music. It just shouts over pre-existing songs with lyrics and tries to right. rewrite them with new lyrics that represent his real life. This means that listening to Chris Chan's That's songs sometimes is like listening it do to be two that songs way. at once. One being the original track he's shouting over, and the other being his voice trying to shout separate words. Without a fire but a... Desire. And thirdly, his moral decisions <laughs> and understanding are questionable at best. I've had only few male acquaintances, and they definitely turn me off the majority of them because they are rude, crude, and inconsiderate. But anyways, this video... Are you saying the only reason that the males turn you off is because they're rude, crude, and inconsiderate, and not because you're not attracted to men? That seems a little suspicious, Christian. Like a popular character from the popular video game among us you know it's something interesting to consider is that we don't i don't think we'll ever know if chris is gay or straight okay and i know you're like papa god that makes no sense because he comes from a christian household um a christian household if you will <laughs> so funny and um he comes from a christian household and he and they they obviously frown upon you know men and he just doesn't have the ability to pull anybody, you know? So it's not even like he can experiment, I guess. I don't It's just sad, man. Yeah, you got him. <laughs> it's just, uh, I don't think we'll ever really know. I don't think so. Although you'd imagine that maybe he would just be kind of like bisexual on principle. That like, uh, you know, you want to fuck the first thing that'll fuck you. But Leo is not going to focus a lot on Chris Chan himself. Yeah, that's true. A, a household where his dad uh, <laughs> casually refers to a lot of people. As bad who live in the gutter. Yeah, that is true. He the dad does do that. True. Instead, I'm going to be talking about his enemies, the trolls. It's not difficult to understand why someone like Chris Chan is such an incredibly large target for internet trolls. Any artistic skills he has are poor, his social performances are awful, and he's generally an awkward person, which is very easy to make fun of on yeah, the internet. The biggest awesome. target for trolling when it comes to Chris Chan is, of course, his greatest insecurity, the fact that he doesn't have any kind of partner. Time and time again, the single most iconic moments of Chris Chan's history on the internet are related to him and his obsession with finding a boyfriend-free girl. For example, a 13-year-old troll created the false character of Julie, which was a girl that was supposedly interested in dating Chris Chan. This was one of the many trolling sagas that involved creating a false woman to then lure Chris Chan in to then make him do incredibly embarrassing things on camera. These false women, often portrayed by numerous trolls, were nicknamed gal pals, after a term that Chris Chan himself used. Apart from catfishing Chris with a false online gal pal, there's also the far more crude wow. practice of making unflattering and gay fan art for Chris Chan. 
I'm surprised, and maybe I just I haven't gotten far enough into the the, the documentary. I'm only at like part twenty four, right? We've only done twenty four parts of the sixty two part Christian thing, but I'm surprised nobody's pretended to be an underage girl to try to get Chris, or have they? And it failed because he he wouldn't do that, or like what what's the story there? You know what I mean? Chance creations. This is a far more rudimentary form of trolling. Just draw a very gory or inappropriate image involving someone's characters or creations, and then send it to them on email and wait for the reactions. This plays greatly on Chris Chan's strong obsession with his original characters. To Chris Chan, Sonichu is like a son. So to see him in all these compromising and unflattering situations definitely makes him a little angry. With the passing of time, trolling attempts got more and more elaborate, involving real life meetings with Chris Chan and, of course, that iconic man in the pickle suit. Trolls are playing more and more with Chris Chan's emotions, his hopes and dreams, his obsessions with his characters, and and of course, his everlasting love quest. However, there's one troll. Is it Christian narrating? I don't think so. It would be interesting if he was. He'd be very impressive voice actor. <laughs> One type of manipulation, one type of torment that I'm forgetting to mention. While other trolls are perfectly content with watching Chris Chan drink his own semen or fornicate with a PS3, this troll was very different. He had no real endgame, explicit blackmail, or other features that were common in Chris Chan troll. He was a very different person, and he was able to get something out of Chris that no one was before. He was able to make Chris Chan understand his biggest flaw, his egotism. Um, Let's start with a quick Well, I feel like he didn't make Chris understand anything. I, under I know what you're saying. I don't think Chris ever understood what was happening. I, I don't think that there's a, a particularly high amount of depth there. You know, no offense to you, Chris, but, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of the truth. Quick recap of everything that happened before the introduction of Liquid Chris. Chris Chan was originally discovered on the Something Awful forums. His claim to fame is his love quest, essentially a series of loitering <laughs> activities where he tried It's to fucking crazy. This guy, somebody posted like his cringe on some backwards website, like something I would imagine along the lines of 4chan in some capacity. And then the people are just like, this guy's ridiculous. Can you give us more? And then that just turned into this. It's fucking nuts. Solicit when women you really think into about it like making that. love to him. Trolls toyed with this by essentially creating lots of false female characters that then get Chris to do very this unflattering wild, things. Yeah. This all culminates with the creation of an entire new subculture on the internet. A subculture obsessed with Chris Chan, whether that be for the best or for the worst. But I guess that's how all fame works, right? Like, you just kind of get lucky one day, or unlucky. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and this is where Liquid Chris comes into play. Christopher Duckworth was a teenager interested in Chris Chan. And is one day, he decided to... Is his name actual the Christopher Duckworth? That's I don't believe that. Is his name Christopher Duckworth? Okay. Open up a new YouTube account focused entirely on making parody videos of Chris Chan to entertain his friends. He stated in his best. Someone said, uh, oh, okay. Because Chris is articulate, people mistake uh, that for neurotypical or intelligent. So when people hear him talk, they think, well, he should know better, which is a pretty typical for bullying autism. That's actually a really good point. Like this idea that like, I mean, obviously, like <clears throat> this idea that because you're higher functioning than other people, that's like, ah, you, it's, dude, you know what it really is? You want to know what's... Uh, Bro, okay. So, what you're saying it makes sense. So, people are like, ah, oh, well, he could speak really well, so he must know better. And they hold him to that standard. What is interesting, though, I don't think that people think about, is that people, it doesn't, like, just these types of people just want to troll somebody that they, they think is stupid and they think is ridiculous, right? And they use the excuse of, like, well, he's, like, obviously he's, you know, off in some capacity because of his, his disability. And they use it as, then they go, well, well you know, he speaks kind of well. I really want to bully autistic people, and in a, in society, I would love to bully somebody that's like really like that's lower functioning. But you know, obviously, you can tell, so people won't like latch onto it. So I'm gonna like set somebody. I, my lack of understanding on autism and how it manifests in people, I'm going to like use that <clears throat> to shit on this person because it's like, ah, eh, fuck it. Like they should know better. They should know better. They can speak decently. They should know better. They should have this. They should do that. And part of them are reasonable criticisms, like where you know he should work even though he has autism and he just doesn't work, which is like you know whatever shitty, but. I mean, at the end of the day, bro. Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? But Joe Biden is present. Yeah, true. Got me on that one. Chris Chan impersonation that he was indeed the original Christian Western Chan, the true and honest one, and that he was finally back to YouTube after those nasty hackers and trolls had taken down his original account. In the meantime, the real Chris Chan had just gotten his YouTube channel deleted for posting the real life home addresses of some trolls in a video. This prompted Chris to create a new channel under the username IBA Chandler. While this was, of course, just a play on words, trolls instead interpreted this as a name. More specifically, what's the play on words? What does IBA mean? I don't I don't get the, the, the joke, I guess. I don't understand it. But okay. Brandon Anderson. This Ian Brandon Anderson name was used by opposite sides to label the other one as an imposter. I would like to address so the imposter. imposter. 
Ian Brandon Anderson for a moment. As these sarcastic YouTube comments kept piling up and up, Chris Chan soon became aware of the existence of the imposter. On the 21st of July 2009, Liga Chris so uploaded a video where he talked about selling Sonichu merchandise. Despite never having interacted with Liga Chris before, the real Solid Chris, as he was now known, posted very threatening comments in the description of Liquid Chris's video where he talked about Sonichu merchandise. Like I said before, to the real Chris Chan, Sonichu is like a son, so seeing him being used by different people definitely makes him very angry. However, from the beginning here, it was apparent that Liquid Chris was very different from other trolls. He got to Chris much more and much faster than other trolls did. And now that the real Chris Chan had discovered him, it was time for Liquid Chris to finally show his full force. It all started when Solid Chris uploaded a video of him singing the song More Than Feeling to YouTube. Now this was actually a re-upload, and he Solid wasn't really Chris. playing the song, oh he was just playing it on Guitar Hero. So, logically, Liquid Chris responded by playing the actual song on guitar. After seeing this rebuttal, Solid Chris decided to start speaking Spanish in the video, and claimed that only the original Chris Chan would know how to speak Spanish. Oh Liquid God. Chris responded by speaking Spanish, German, French, and Japanese in one video. Hola, este es el verdadero Ricardo Weston Chandler. Je parle aussi français. Zwei jalang von Deutschen. A soniwa tadashi kris. Then, Chris Chan issued a challenge, the Sing Star Challenge, to Liquid Chris. Just like they sort of did before, the two would battle it out with music. There were five rounds, and for each round, both Solid and Liquid would pick a song to play. They would then film themselves playing that song and upload it to YouTube. The result of this contest is pretty unsurprising. Liquid Chris won because of his superior musical talent. The winner of the Sing Star Challenge contest between your- because your judges not followed any rules, my judges have been following, the rules and giving me scores. Therefore, because you have no scores, you're out of the running, and I am the true Christian Weston Chandler. After winning the contest, Liquid announced that he'd landed a job at Microsoft to develop Sonichu games, and that Sonichu was going to be produced into an actual comic by the publisher. Did he s I think he said Ricardo, not Retardo. Um, yeah. Dark Horse. These, of course, were lies just to make Solid Chris angry. However, there was one true occurrence that he announced the fact that he had finally found a sweetheart, Casey. Oh, On August 9th, there was a voice call between Solid and Liquid Chris, where they discussed the imposter. This led to a lot of shouting and anger, especially from Solid Chris. And just a few days later, on the 14th of Bro, August, Liquid Chris uploaded a video he where he can't even about call him just Chris. You call him Solid Chris is like a backhanded comment. How he had grown up. He was going to be leaving YouTube forever so he could work on his beloved Sanji series. Hello, my lo my loyal fan base. Today, today is uh, you may be noticing that I am wearing a different shirt. By all means, do not get your tidies in a notch, for it is a symbol of success. First of all, I thank my sweet Casey for saying yes to marrying me. As by given that we will live our whole lives together forever. I got the uh, I got the I got I got the uh, job there at, as as the uh, production manager and the game designer of the official games. Yeah, with the uh, assistance of my true and original characters Sanchu and Rosechu in their world, I am now taking the first steps to growing up. This only lasted one day, and on the 15th, a parody video was uploaded on the channel where it showed Liquid Chris being tied up by who was supposedly meant to be Solid Chris in some kind of staged kidnapping. Tell them your name. Christian Weston Chandler. I was told by my audience <clears throat> that Apparently he has a twin, that's his twin, but also it may not be true, and maybe he just did like some voice recording. I mean, this was before more fancy uh, technology, but... <laughs> you never... Are you the real Christian? Yes. No! Yes. No! <laughs> Many months passed, and it was only until October that Liquid Chris would return. In his video, Liquid Chris claims that his supposed absence had led to a love triangle forming between him, Casey, and Solid Chris. This indeed had actually happened. Solid Chris had tried to convince Casey that he was indeed the original Christian Weston Chandler. Casey, who was also a troll, played along, and the two kept messaging and calling as if they were actually in a relationship. Hey Casey, it's me. Sorry my uh, computer seems to be hunting up, but you know, sometimes this will happen, but you know, just give me the shout out, I promised. I love you, Casey. But now that Liquid Chris was back, it was time for a showdown. It all culminated in November when Chris Chan had a phone call with Casey and her supposed father. This phone call is probably one of the most emotionally charged things related to Chris Chan, and I really do think that it should speak for itself. So I've left a link to it in the description. Bro, I listen to that thing. It's it's ridiculous. It's fucking terrible. <clears throat> it's honestly like just annoying. That's when the trolling gets too far. I mean, you shouldn't be trolling him in the first place, but that's that's really when it gets like too far want to listen to it. So that was the end of Liquid Chris. What started as a simple parody to entertain some friends soon turned into the greatest trolling saga ever. But what makes this different from any of the other trolling attempts with Chris Chan? What makes Liquid Chris any special? Now this brings us all the way back to the beginning of the video, where I talked about the ego. Unlike so many other trolls that attack Chris's insecurities, Liquid Chris and Casey are instead deconstructions of his ego. Everything Chris Chan claims to be, a talented artist, a good musician, and a tolerant and moral person, Liquid Chris actually is. And I don't think people realize the extent of- What are you talking about? How are you a moral person if you're bullying somebody with autism? What the fuck are you talking about? 
I mean, the recap was fine, but like, uh, Chris isn't like a moral person. Chris is just, they're fucking trolling the shit out of him. I don't think it's that deep. Which the real Chris Chan was oblivious to a lot of this. I think this quote from the Quickie, which is a Chris Chan dedicated Wikipedia, sums it up pretty well. It's a bad sign when one is fighting a mirror, and worse when the mirror is winning. Worse still, if it's a funhouse mirror, I mean especially to mock you. In his mere existence, Liquid Chris, as a more talented and successful version of Chris Chan, makes the real Chris Chan seethe with rage. That's why he was so easily provoked when he first found out about him. In his impression of Chris Chan, Liquid Chris was actually doing a better job than the real Chris Chan. And when it comes to someone as delusional and egotistical as Chris Chan, there's nothing better for a troll to do than to break it all down. Without a fire, but a desire to not hear you say I have a boyfriend. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Well, that was an interesting video. I just don't think that the whole um, introspective part of Christian exists. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, Go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.